Good evening, everyone. This is Ellery, the health adventurer. Welcome back. And tonight I'm going to show you what is in my fruitarian fridge. So, now keep in mind, I do uh, share this fridge with my boyfriend, Joseph. Um, but, everything that's in here will probably pretty much be gone in like two days. So, on the bottom shelf we've got uh, some mangoes, I think there's probably about 9 or 10 in that basket there. We've got these bananas that we love to use for our smoothies. We start out with like 40 pounds of them and uh, they usually sit on top of our stove and then as they start getting ripe we uh, stick them in our fridge. I think that's uh, some kale that my boyfriend got for himself today. I've been staying away from vegetables myself because of the reactions that I get to them, but he does well with them, so those are for him. And then we got, I think, like eight of these bags of grapes to start with, and this is what we have left. So we've been uh, enjoying those. Those are great for uh, detoxing, according to Dr. Robert Morris. You can check out his YouTube channel. He's got some interesting things to say. And we got some avocados in here. And then on the top shelf, got some lemons. Uh, I think I was a little hopeful in getting these uh, bell peppers, but I uh, forgot that they're nightshade vegetables, so I probably wouldn't do too well with those. Um, and then there's some arugula, and again, that was something my boyfriend got, and I think there's some celery in there too. So, um, so yeah, this is what's in the fridge, and like I said, it's it's a little bit emptier than it, I guess, than it normally is, but this will be. Uh, gone in about two days. Oh, and I think there's some some carrots on the bottom. I also don't know why we got those considering uh, my reaction to vegetables, but it's all right. So um, yeah, and we get a lot of our fruit at the uh, wholesale market in LA. So you know, for example, the bananas. When we get 40 pounds of bananas, which is you know it's a lot, uh, we might spend you know 13 dollars on the low side. Uh, we might spend if we spend a little bit more for like a a name brand organic banana, we might spend, yeah, 40 pounds, no joke, um, $22 or something at the most. So yeah, we'll eat, <laughs> yes, we do actually go through uh, 40 pounds of bananas in a week, uh, believe it or not. You know, when you eat only fruit in every day, it's easy to do that. So, and then I'll go ahead and show you guys so that's a very good question. How do I get all the vitamins I need with just fruit? Now keep in mind that you know a lot of this. I'm just I'm just starting this for the first time, um, and I'm primarily doing this to detox. So, but to get some of my extra vitamins, I've got this. Uh, this is called Vitaforce here. So this is my Vitamix blender right here. This is one of their. This is their one of the top of the line blenders. Uh, I forget exactly what the model is. I think it's like the A2500 or something like that. So I can put like five bananas in there. I put a bunch of my green powders in, so this is one of them. And this has some really great stuff in it. Um, this is all, these are all plant-based. Sorry if it's not focusing here. Let's see. Um, so you can see there's there's a ton of, you know, vitamin A, the vitamin C. I mean, that's pretty easy to get just from fruit. Um, but then there's some B vitamins, uh, vitamin K, vitamin B12. Magnesium, zinc, selenium, chromium. So there's a lot of really good stuff in this. And like I said, this is all you know plant-based and everything. Um, you know, so you can see here is spirulina, wheatgrass juice, cracked cell chlorella, kale, collard greens. Lots of great stuff in here. So that's one of the the powders that I use. I actually make a pretty uh, intense green drink if I do say so myself. Uh, I think my boyfriend can attest to that. If you see my last video about his teeth coming loose, that's a kind of a crazy thing. They uh, a really intense detox uh, symptom that he experienced. His teeth are all better now, by the way. Uh, they all they're all strong and everything. It's great. But uh, I fortunately never had anything crazy like that happen. Um, this is wheatgrass. So this is barley grass, wheatgrass, and alfalfa. 
So there's vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin K, calcium, 16% of iron, so that's pretty good, so I'll get some iron in there. And then uh, for some extra iron, I also like to get some spirulina, so I'll put like a teaspoon of spirulina. This is about 30% of, uh, let's see, where'd it go? There it is. About 30% of the iron in here. Again, vitamin, lots of vitamin K, so that's really great. A little bit of sodium, some protein as well. These are uh, good for protein too. And here we got the chlorella. I believe this has, yes, 33% of iron. So get a good amount of iron. And then I do also, because it is kind of difficult to uh, get calcium uh, in general, calcium is one of the minerals that is generally not uh, added back to the soil. Uh, so it's pretty depleted from the soil, so it's missing in a lot of food. Um, this particular, uh, this is the Garden of Life Vitamin Code Raw Calcium. And also, you guys, if you want to, if you are interested in any of these uh, supplements and you, you want to get these for yourself, I have a, some links on my website, thehealthadventure.com, and the supplements section. Um, but I really like this one because it's got uh, some good additional vitamins besides calcium in it so it helps absorb the calcium so there's vitamin D3 so that's really great to have now there's 400 percent there's vitamin K so 130 percent of that and uh, some magnesium as well and some vitamin C you can never have too much vitamin C awesome yes these are really great so it, it's it's only 80 percent of uh, calcium but you know what I get enough calcium from all the other uh, fruits that I'm eating um, that it's really not a problem and I believe there's even some uh, extra calcium in the VitaForce that I eat as well with my smoothie. So I just throw that in to my blender here with about, it depends on how sweet I want it, but between four and six bananas. I usually go with four these days. Um, I, I don't like it as sweet. I already get enough sweetness from all the other sugar, or all the other sugar, all the other fruit that I get. Um, you know from everything else that I'm eating so that is uh, my little uh, green drink that I do every day so again you guys if you're interested in that you can uh, go to my website and get the links for that and while we're over here I guess I could show you some of the other little supplements and things I have got some uh, this is good for for UTIs uh, D mannose this is the, the sugar that is in cranberries so this is extracted from that, and uh, it's supposed to, I guess it somehow binds to the uh, bacteria in the uh, urinary tract. So that's what that's for. So every now and again, if I have a UTI, then I just use that. Also got some uh, some probiotics here. Uh, yeah, actually I found success with it, but you know what, I gotta say, when I've had really, really uh, stubborn UTIs, I've used raw garlic. Um, it's pretty d difficult to eat raw garlic, I gotta say, so I do like the d mannos uh, as maybe a more preventative, a little bit better. Um, but, but raw garlic, if you're really trying to knock it out, <laughs> chop some of that up, let it sit for about 10 minutes, let that allicin uh, come through, and it, it's a good antibiotic. So, we've got the uh, probiotic, so again, if you're going to use that garlic, then uh, it's always good to replenish some of those, so that good bacteria. So this is, uh, I think it's L. Rudery, here it is, L. Rudery, and I think there's another one that's good for, uh, again, uh, UTIs. Uh, so particularly, this is for women. A lot of women suffer from UTIs, so I think that's why they put that one in here. So that's a good one. And then for some herbs, Sometimes I do, uh, I, I use some herbs as well. This is olive leaf extract. Um, this is good if you have candida. So, you know, I, sometimes if I see that I have white or green or yellow or any kind of weird color on my tongue when I wake up in the morning, uh, sometimes I'll take some of this and that helps uh, take care of some of that. And, you know, if I, for some reason, I'm lazy and I don't have my green drink, uh, I like to at least make sure I get my B12 in uh, for the day. So this has quite a lot. It has over 8,000%, which is pretty over the top there. But uh, this one, you know, tastes pretty good. So I use that. And 
yeah, I guess that's, uh, that's pretty much it, you know, for most of the things I use. You know, I have a couple other herbs in here. Like this one I haven't tried yet. This is a milk thistle, dandelion. Um, I've taken milk thistle by itself before to kind of help with the liver uh, as I detoxify my body. But this is a capsule, and this also has some other, um, let's see, we've got uh, some burdock root, artichoke leaf, some other things in there besides smoke thistle, so I, I'm curious to see uh, how I like this one. It also has dandelion root in it. So I thought I would go ahead and try this, uh, the capsules, instead of the, uh, the glycerin, because, uh, I don't know, I kind of prefer, personally I just prefer to have uh, capsules over glycerin and just don't have to taste anything. Uh, this I like this brand. This is um, Oregon's Wild Harvest, and I like that in the, their capsules just say Paloan vegetarian capsules and nothing else. So real simple, no magnesium stearate or anything you know that's bad for you in there. So that's really really good. Um, I also have some uh, some marshmallow roots. This is a. Uh, I've used this if I have a little bit of a sore throat or something like that, uh, maybe acid reflux or something. I just take some of this. It's kind of, this uh, kind of stimulates the mucous membranes and just kind of soothes a little bit. So that's what it says right there. Soothes the gastrointestinal tract. So occasionally I use that. And, and you know, again, I, I try to stay away mostly from, from herbs as much as I can. Slippery elm, this is actually, a, I haven't used this one yet either. This is something I was going to try and uh, colon cleanse if I ever try uh, another colon cleanse again but uh, yeah I try to stay away from the herbs a little bit I'm gonna flip the camera real quick hello everyone um, yeah so I, I like to see if you know my body can do as much of you know the detoxification work and everything on its own before I add in a lot of herbs I like to just see what the fruit does itself because from my personal experience, when I eat a lot of fruit, I do tend to experience a lot of detoxification symptoms, and uh, like headaches, nausea, um, sometimes flu-like symptoms, or I just kind of feel like you know need to kind of lay in bed for a while. So, for me to add a lot of herbs into that could just make those detoxification symptoms even more intense. And I like to kind of go at a steady pace, and uh, you know, detoxifying too quickly is not a good thing either. As a matter of fact, my boyfriend, Joseph, is, uh, he's trying to, he's an aspiring fruitarian, we'll say, and uh, he, for him, if he eats too much fruit and doesn't balance it out with some other things, you know, he gets really intense detoxification uh, symptoms just from the fruit. So he does add a little bit of, uh, you know, cooked food, some rice, uh, some avocado. O avocado will also slow down detoxification, um, according to uh, Mark James uh, Gordon, he's on YouTube, and Dr. Robert Morris, and I do find that in myself as well, that, uh, you know, if I eat something like avocado, it kind of tends to slow it down a little bit too. So, you know, it just depends, you know, so for me, just eating the fruit is, is good. <laughs> it, it, uh, it, it feels good, you know, after going through some of that detox, you know, get some of that stuff out, you know, I tend to feel better, um, but there seems to be a lot of gunk stuck in there and, and you know I've had a lot of really really crazy uh, health crisis uh, crises um, you know if you've watched my channel before I talk about how my hands were kind of like involuntarily closing up on me just kind of going into fists uh, sometimes they would do some weird things you know kind of like a claw it just it was it was really weird um, very scary and you know thankfully since I've gone raw vegan and now I'm eating more, mostly fruit uh, if not all fruit, I mean, I guess you could call my supplements some sort of vegetable because they're uh, vegetable based. Um, you know, I've I've done a lot better, and my hands have been doing a lot, lot better. So I'm really, really happy about that. But uh, yeah, I thought you guys would like to see what's in my fridge because I know there's not a lot of people eating only fruit, and I thought you guys might you might be interested in seeing what's in there. So uh, to end this broadcast, I'm just gonna open up the fridge again. And give you one last look at uh, the fridge for today. Maybe I, I will show you guys another version of this when we get some different fruits and things. So uh, thank you again everyone. Uh, if you like this channel and you kind of like what this is about, you can give me a follow. And I also have a blog. Um, I recently wrote uh, 
some articles on how going vegan, uh, how my acne disappeared after going vegan, and uh, how I transitioned into becoming a fruitarian. All right, guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.